Modern Warfare Remastered for the PS4, and it's free with uh, PlayStation Plus for March of 2019, and if you haven't gotten this yet, go get it. It is uh, fun to get back into, and it's, uh, I feel like a noob again, you know, a fresh Christmas noob when I bought this for myself, you know, when I was like 23 years old back in 2007, and uh, yeah, like uh, this game really kind of introduced me to Call of Duty, and I guess this is the, the franchise that really blew up Call of Duty, pretty much. And I'm uh, playing, I'm just giving you guys, showing you guys some highlights of uh, what I've played so far, you know, all the base maps here, and my Modern Warfare 4, and I, I, I do like it really good, you know, it looks really good in full 1080p, and uh, I kind of forgot how this game plays, so uh, the loadout system seemed kind of bare bones compared to... Uh, all the newer CODs, but I think I think I like the bare bones. Like you kind of just play with what you need. Uh, Bog is one of my I think one of my favorite maps. I think it's like one of the first maps you play when you're a noob. Uh, that way everyone's kind of like on the same ground. It's kind of like wide open, kind of simple layout, so it's e easy to get kills and uh, easy to stack up points. Backlot. This is one of like my old time favorites. I think I still like a enjoy this map quite a bit there's like a lot of corners you gotta watch you can't just run around the corner or you just get shot and die and uh yeah it's like very jagged like it's a very very square map lots of like smaller squares lots of corners lots of walls and it's like very dense you know you kind of kind of be careful but you know, people just play this game like any other regular call of duty you know they just run around the corner and die or just run out in the open and die like it doesn't matter how you play I guess it just takes a, like how well do you know the map to kind of know all the spots to go. Movement is key in this map. You know, it is like a smaller map, but it is sure dense. And uh, I gotta kind of, I almost got a kill streak. Only kill one guy. And you really gotta watch your back. That was a nice double kill. Crossfire. Crossfire is like another urban map. Like if you go out into the street, you'll you're pretty much dead. Like you really gotta stick close to the buildings. And uh, yeah, I forget how dense these maps were and how kind of they're kind of like the bigger Call of Duty maps than than they are today. So there's a guy crossing the street and he's pretty much dead. Yep, I got him. And yeah, you always gotta keep moving. That's, that's like the key to pretty much every Call of Duty game, I guess. You just gotta keep moving. Or you'll just kinda die. They'll come back to where they died and try and get you down or get you back or something. Well, I think I'm like a way better Call of Duty player today than I was uh, back in 2007. Looks like they added new perks like eavesdrop. You can hear enemy. Downpour perks. is probably one of the uh, more like uh, darker maps, oh, like uh, because shoot. players yeah. kind of blend into the environment. Or they'll be prone in the grass, and uh, you can't see them until they're uh, right on top of them. Or they'll just kind of camp that, in uh, in a corner somewhere. And there's a gun emplacement here that just kind of gets all of us oh, or me. some of us. Armenian boy oh, is on, this is on the gun. one guy kind of called an Armenian boy he kept. Getting us every single time. For fuck's sake! Okay, I guess uh, some people take this free game yeah, and just run with it because they can't really afford any other game, so they just uh, yeah, I guess they just get good. Or maybe I'm just getting getting old. I'm getting getting kind of slow. I guess in my old age here. Fuck off! Yep, yeah, there is. I'm gun again. That one guy. And this map, you definitely need to kind of watch corners. I guess should have been a kill. Oh come on! I, I, I guess I, I guess I just wasn't what? fast enough. He, he got me. He got me first. He had juggernaut. I had juggernaut. Yeah, the rain kind of really makes this environment kind of look dull. I guess that kind of rep represents real life. Overgrown was probably one of my other favorite maps back in the uh, Modern Warfare days. Uh, this riverbed, you know, it's kind of, you know, there's usually a firefight between and across and inside this riverbed. But mainly it's that red brick building to the right there, so where a lot of a lot of people like like going. Cause they like they like to go up into the roof, 
I'm gonna kind of camp up there. I'm gonna have someone in there. But he gets me first. <gasps> yeah, I think lag still plays a big part of Call of Duty games Riverside. today. So I think maybe I was lagged out. Like you just gotta like pull the trigger before they come around the corner to actually get get a decent kill, I guess. Or I don't know. You know, you just gotta be good. Or you can just noob tube it. Noob tube it gets kills. So you can just can't run around the corner. Can't run around the corner. And I died. Gas station. Yeah, people still play this game like they've always been playing it. You know, running around corners and dying, running out in the open and dying. It's like if Call of Duty would make make a like a more tactical shooter, you know, I think that'd be really big. It would be a hit. Bog at night. Yeah, like a uh, bog is like just like a real staple map where you can get your kills, get your points up, just so you can start unlocking more features for your weapon and your loadouts. Yeah, I think I was kind of dominating in this map. And I was finally starting to get warmed up. I was finally starting to get back in the uh, Modern Warfare groove. And uh, yeah, I think I forgot, forgot how much I liked the Modern Warfare franchise as opposed to like Black Ops franchise better. And yeah, it is pretty bare bones, but it's like all about skill based in Modern Warfare. Scrub based, skill based, yeah. Like, I'm not sure if it's true that Modern Warfare 2 is going to be remastered, but yeah, I think I'd jump on that right away then, because I think I liked, like, that, that's like uh, pretty much what what really sealed the, uh, sealed my fate with the Call of Duty franchise was Modern Warfare 2. Oh, this map. This map is just nothing but like a shotgun frenzy map. It's, uh, it's just good for kind of, I guess, warming up to kind of get your, uh, get your skill level up, kind of get your, uh, speed up. Get your twitch, twitch reflective thumbs going. You know, it's uh, all about being twitchy and uh, kind of fast responsive. Because uh, people do run around the corner and die. And yeah, this is about this map, there's nothing about shotgun, shotgun, and running around. Bank it. Yeah, this is like another staple modern warfare map. Like, uh, it's pretty level. And you do gotta watch your corners. You gotta look, like, I make sure. Like, take it slow going down the corridor. You can't just run around the corner like that. And uh, people do play outside as well. You can flank the outside to kind of go inside, too. That's what I'm trying to remember. And you get a beat on that guy. He got me. I got flanked right there. And we all died by that one guy. He got a nice triple kill. He's like behind some nice cover. Wet work. Uh, this is like another uh, one of my favorite maps too of uh, Call of Duty 4 or Modern Warfare. And uh, this is basically like a tug of war, I guess you'd say, like a one side of the boat versus the other. And uh, it's hard. It's kind of hard to flip the spawn in this one because uh, they do spawn like kind of right in front of you, and you're just trying to like, attack them and take them out. Uh, it would suck if the spawn kept flipping and flipping and then they would kind of come and get you from behind. Enemy UAV is airborne. This is another twitchy, twitchy map. You gotta be well reflexed. Block. It's like one of my least favorites map because it's like nothing but snipers camping. It's like basically two apartment blocks versus each other. Across from each other. I got a kill. I got sniped. And, uh, yeah, I think other games might have taken some... Ideas from from this level, like uh, Escape from Tarkov, and uh, yeah, I'm I'm want to get into more PC gameplay in the future here in 2019. I'm gonna think about building another PC. Yeah, there's another sniper. I keep getting sniped. I guess everyone else does too. But there are those campers. I mean snipers that just like to hide out in that building, it's like the floor. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. This is Whiskey signing off. And uh, if you don't have this game yet, go out and get it. It's free right now on PS Plus. And uh, we'll catch you guys later. This is Whiskey out. Objective complete.